Hello everyone. Welcome to Cadia Tutorial. I am V. Rakesh, Assistant Professor in Department of Mechanical Engineering Kids Varangal. In this video lecture, we will discuss about uh, how to apply Boolean operation to bodies. First, we need to open Cadia VP software. Go to the file, new file, choose the type that is part drawing, then click OK. Now the part design is open in Catia V5. You can see here this uh, specification tree. Uh, before going to applying Boolean operation, we need to create a new body. Let us see the procedure to create new body in Catia V5. The procedure is you go to the insert button. Now you need to choose insert uh, in the menu bar. Go to the insert body. You can observe, observe that uh, in the specification tree, the body to is uh, added. Uh, you will notice that the newly created body is underlined. Uh, this means uh, it indicating that the current body is active. If you add a feature to the current model, that feature will be automatically added to the activity active body. If you want to uh, deactivate uh, if you want to active another body just you can choose that uh, uh, body right click and choose define in work object now part body is underlined if you want to uh, act if you want to uh, active mode in the body to let us go to choose body to and right mo right mouse button select define in work object now the body to is activated <coughs> After in after inserting the bodies, here I have inserted body two. After inserting the body, you can apply boolean operations such as addition of two bodies, subtraction of one body from the other, retaining the intersected portion of two bodies, and so on. These operations are called as boolean operations. You can also uh, see this option go to the inset boolean operations assemble this is the first boolean operation assemble second one add third one remove intersect union trim the last one is remove lump these are called as boolean operations in this video lecture we will discuss about discuss the first one that is assemble boolean operation of for applying this tool, we need to. Uh, I want to create uh, three uh, three parts. Uh, in the body two, I need to create uh, one model. That is, I'm selecting YZ plane. Click on sketch tool. I need to create one uh, rectangle. I am choosing center rectangle. Now apply the constraints. I am taking this the 150. This width is uh, <coughs> 75. Then click OK. Now exit from this workbench. Now apply the pad. Here I am choosing mirror extent 20. 20 mm length then click ok this is the my first uh, path model uh, next i want to add uh, i want to take one more body inset body now body 3 is added to added in the specification tree in that body 3 i i want to construct uh, one more path that is cylinder Let's click on sketch tool Construct one circle. The circle diameter is uh, 50 mm. I am taking 50 mm. You can take uh, your uh, your choice. Now exit from this workbench. Apply the pad. I am taking the other extent. <coughs> uh, here I am taking 30 mm. 30 mm 
then click ok this is the this is my uh, uh, model number two next i want to add one more model i want to add one more body insert uh, body this is the body number four here i am going to construct one cylinder by using uh, parquet tool select widget plane Ske click on sketch tool i am taking same cylinder uh, circle the diameter is uh, 50 mm then click ok here i want to create this cylinder by using uh, pocket tool now exit from this workbench uh, I'm here i am selecting pocket tool the mirror um, mirror extent depth is 30 mm in the previous one i have constructed cylinder with uh, pad tool that means positive polarity that means adding material here i have constructed uh, uh, cylinder by using pocket tool this is negative polarity that means uh, removing material then click ok <coughs> now uh, i am going to assemble this body 2 and body 3 now, then i am going to body 3 uh, we can access this boolean operation from insert menu boolean operations assemble another option is uh, uh, toolbar from toolbar uh, if the if this toolbar is hired you can access from the bottom bottom of this bar just you can click right mouse button uh, turn on boolean operations another option is in the specification tree select that body and click right mouse mouse right button body 3 object i am choosing assemble <coughs> here uh, in the assemble uh, in the selected assembly is body 3 uh, from uh, now in, in the two two option i am going to choose body 2 then click preview you can see here then click ok you can uh, observe here here body 2 is a rectangular uh, rectangle extruded part and, and body 3 is the uh, cylinder shape both are combined this is the result part this is the assembly part now control z now i am going to assemble uh, body 2 and body 4 here body 2 is a rectangular uh, pad and body 4 is the uh, cylinder constructed cylinder by using pocket tool I am choosing body 4 right click assemble uh, the in the assembly definition dialog box uh, in the 2 I am choosing body 2 then click preview you can observe here when you are choosing body 3 and a body 4 and body 2 the subtract the sil uh, the subtracted portion is appear that means uh, uh, material removed from body 2 body 4 is removed from body 2 the resulting portion is appear in the in the display this is the uh, uh, brief discussion about uh, how to assemble uh, two or more different parts uh, in CATIA v software then click ok <coughs> you can observe here in the first step when you are choosing uh, assembly body 2 and body 3 are combined when you are choosing body 2 and body 4 the material is removed because uh, the cylinder is constructed with pocket tool that's why that portion is removed from the body tool <coughs> this is the resultant uh, part body in uh, body in carrier v5 this is the resultant assembled body
constructed by using a boolean operation that is first one is assembly tool i hope this is very clear to everyone in the next video lecture uh, we will discuss about uh, the second boolean operation that is uh, adding bodies second one is adding bodies thank you for watching please do like and subscribe my channel for more updates